Hi, sauce. Let's do. Oh, oh my god, so much came out. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be so messy. I'm scared I'm gonna burn my tongue, but honestly, that's the way to eat a meat pie is to burn your tongue. So let's go. Hey guys, today we are trying each other's meat pie eating methods to see which one will come out on top. Meat pies for me uh, have a real nostalgic feel about them. I grew up in a really small country town and every Aussie knows that in every single small country town, there is the best bakery. Eating meat pies in Australia, there's like a ton of different ways. There's always been this debate about which way is the best and which ways are like just totally weird. I personally think that everyone uh, should have their own way of eating a meat pie because it's a very personal thing, you know? Like you're a kid, you're eating a meat pie, like you do you and you do what you like the most. I know my method is probably the most weirdest one, so I'm literally saying that just to defend myself. The reason why my method is the best way to eat a meat pie is because it reminds me of my childhood and also it guarantees zero mess. First you have your pie, you grab a knife, you cut around the top, peel off the top layer, and then the trick is to use this as your dunking stick. So you rip it up, dip it into the sauce, and then eat it. Once your top level pastry is done, you <laughs> spoon out all the meat and eat it by itself. And then at the end, you're left with the pastry and then you eat that by itself as well. <laughs> I am dubious about this. I don't know how she thought of this. It's just weird. Like, are you eating a meat pie or are you performing surgery? Like, how are you supposed to get the whole top of the crust off cleanly? Yes. Oh my God, no sauce. That's kind of like fucked. Uh... I think sauce and meat pies, it's like, it's like, you know, sort of like a, a, like a, like a marriage or something, you know, you have to have them together. Okay, this looks kind of rank though. It's testing the temperature. This reminds me a little bit of eating roti and sabji, like as, an, as a brown girl. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good. I can see the appeal if you're five and you like playing with your food. This is gross. But as for the method, I'm really into it. The problem with this is when you're at a footy game, you, you, you can't be doing this. Like, it's nice, it's good, it's unusual, it's different, but like, you need some sauce. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, so it's all gone pretty much. So now we just bite through and eat the rest. Yeah, so it's just pastry, so you're kind of just like, you know, in pastry, which is whatever. I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 because it would be much better with sauce, to be honest. I'm gonna give this like a 3, it was pretty gross. I'll give it a 7. Yeah, the pastry at the end is kind of plain, but it's not, it's not terrible. My meat pie eating method is best because you get sauce on every single bite. So what I do is I do a layer of sauce on the first section before I start, then I bite through all of that, then you get into the pie, and then you put the meat and stuff. So you do a layer of sauce on the meat pie there. Um, into the sort of meat and everything, then you bite through that and you just keep going. It's sort of like a sushi roll, how you do soy sauce on like the first bite, then you bite through that, then you put on the second bite. And it's honestly, it tastes amazing. All right, pie, sauce, let's do, oh, oh my God, so much came out. I'm scared I'm gonna burn my tongue, but honestly, that's the way to eat a meat pie is to burn your tongue, so let's go. Fuck, I forgot how good meat pies were, damn. That's actually really good. Oh. All right, a little bit more sauce. Oh. There's like a lot of like balance involved and like I see this little like drip and it's giving me anxiety because I don't want any of that near my hands. Thanks for that, Tom. Gonna have a quick shower and then uh, get back to chasing the other ones. I feel like I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 because it tastes great. I'm gonna give it about a five out of 10. Way too many components and sauce flying around in my opinion. I think it's quality. It might be a little bit more difficult to handle, but I'm gonna give that a seven. It's a pretty solid seven. Here's why my meat pie eating method is the best. It really elongates the process of eating the meat pie, so the goodness never ends. 
You start by getting a spoon and cutting around the lid. Then you mix tomato sauce into the meat. You eat that with a spoon. Then you put tomato sauce in the pastry and on top of the lid and eat that separately. Yum, it's a never ending meal. Now we've got the inside out method from Sohan. I have actually done this method before when I was a child, um, but I don't do this anymore because I'm grown up. Straight up, I don't understand why people want to work this hard for their food. Like it's literally supposed to be a convenience food. I do like the pulling off the top of the pastry. I understand it. I'm, I'm here for that. Oh, look at that crispiness. Oh, oh, beautiful. I'm putting tomato sauce in the meat. This is better than Claire's because Elise has tomato sauce in this one. There's just something really gross to me about playing with the meat and gravy in the meat pie. Probably because you know like it's not really that real meat. Cheers! Mmm. I don't hate this. This actually tastes like shepherd's pie now. You know, like without potatoes. Oh, first of all, it's so weird to be eating a meat pie with a spoon. But the addition of the sauce in the meat and gravy is good. I will say that. Mm. Crunch is good. Texture wise, it's weird for me. I don't really want to be eating, like deconstructing a pie. Like the reason that it's a pie is because all these things have been put together. Uh-huh. I guess just imagine like eating like a thin layer of pastry and then tomato sauce on it and that's what it tastes like. Um, that's really just what it is. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's pretty similar to mine. Someone does the same thing, she just adds sauce. I don't think it was as bad as Claire's like using the crust to pick up the meat, um, but I don't think it was as good as Tom's method of just like adding sauce as you go. So therefore I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give this an eight. It's not my favorite method and my favorite method is my method. That's just what I reckon. Here's why my method is the best. When you slather your meat pie with the sauce and you just eat it with your hands, you can make sure that there's the least amount of spillage possible, your fingies don't get dirty, and it lets you kind of air out the meat and gravy so it's not like molten lava in your mouth every time you take a bite. It's the classic Aussie method. Great when you're in the go, when you're walking around, when you're at a footy game. Hi, sauce. Just gonna do a whole big slather of it. That's All good. Right. That's quite a lot, but you need a lot for a meat pie like that. Mmm, everywhere. Mmm. Pretty good. Tom sauce really takes up a notch. That reminds me of like the mini party pies that you have at little kids' birthdays. The classic method is a mess. You have the footy with your crush, it gets you a meat pie, where you're just gonna shove it all in your mouth? No. Oh, love it. That is literally so much better than barbecue sauce in my opinion. Like tomato sauce and meat pie is just a nostalgic flavor. I'm gonna give her a six out of 10. It wasn't much better than Tom's, but at least I like tomato sauce better than I like barbecue sauce, so. There is a high percentage chance of burning tongue and dropping, on, dropping pie on your pants. I would have to give this a six. It's good, but those factors for me are a, a, a real bummer, real downside. You know, this might actually be a 10 out of 10 because I don't think I have anything bad to say about it. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for the classic method. And I also would like to formally apologize for my method. I'm really sorry. <laughs> hey friends. Hey guys. How's it going? You ready to see who won? Are you serious? Woo! Congratulations. I mean, are we surprised? No, you don't have to mess with a good thing. I might have been onto something actually. Um, I do not agree, but thank you so much. Step aside. Leave it to the expert. <gasps> <laughs> That's so hard to <laughs> fucking hate this so much, but okay. <clears throat> Hey guys, how's it going? Congratulations. <laughs> yeah.
you truly deserve to win.